You did it. You made it. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Kill Tony. Brought to you by Game Time, Skylight Frame, DraftKings, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, and Gel Blaster. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. How about one more time for the fucking band, huh? And you guys watching at home don't know this, but sometimes we have special guests swing by and, uh, and do unbelievable music appearances because this is Austin, Texas the live music comedy capital of the world. And how about one more time, what you guys saw, Winona Judd is in the house tonight, everybody. Absolute fucking goddess of rock and roll. An unbelievable performance. I got shivers from that. Chills, chills to the absolute bones. And uh, amazing stuff, you never know what's gonna happen here. Highly recommend checking out the show live. Did you guys have fun yet already, huh? Before we start tonight's podcast, here's a little bit more from the amazing sponsors that made it all possible. The Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas is now open. Check out Red Band's secret show every Thursday. Go to sunsetstripatx.com for tickets. Who's ready to have the best goddamn time of their lives, huh? You're in it tonight. This is just one of those fucking episodes where everything is perfect. It's just fucking perfect. The machine gets to breathe, and no one possibly better is tonight's guest. I uh, love this man. He's been on the show many times before. One of the best comedians in the world. One of the best right now. One of the best ever. And we're going to have so much fucking fun. Let's see how loud this place can get for the great and powerful Jim Norton. <laughs> Welcome Thank you. back, Jim. Thank you. Such a goddamn pleasure to have you. One of I the, love it. One of the fucking greats. A Thank true you. fucking killer. New Yorker, Nikki and Jim, NYC on YouTube. Their new podcast, Sword Fight. Tickets available. One of the great live comedians in the world. JimNorton.com, so check him out. And uh, Jim, you know how it works. A bunch of fucking souls signed up for the opportunity. Yes. Probably, how many tonight, Yoni? Ballpark? 200? Yeah, somewhere around there always. 2.30, Jesus fucking Christ. This shit is getting out of control. A lot of these people moving here, some of the best, in, uh, you know, up and coming, promising talents moving here. Some people literally 
lying that they've prepared for this just to hopefully get famous <laughs> and they annoy me and I try to figure out a way to uh, make them uncomfortable for signing up for a show built around comedians trying to make it. But you know how it works. They get 60 seconds and then you hear the sound of a kitten. They have to wrap it up then or else they bring out the angry West Hollywood bear, which is loud and that interrupts them. And then I ask them a bunch of questions. We learn more about them, stuff that's good, stuff that they could talk about, stuff that they should never do again. Anything can happen. You guys ready to start the show? So I go to the bottom of the bucket. I pre-pull a name. They go get them from across the street while that person's being wrangled. I present to you the newest regular on Kill Tony, a very esteemed position which guarantees fucking fame and ticket sales for the rest of their lives. This guy's an absolute phenom, ladies and gentlemen, a force of nature, uh, unbelievable fucking a gift from the comedy gods. I present to you a brand new 60 seconds from the crab man himself, the one and only Casey Rocket. Do you have to, do you have to let it linger? All right, cool. Irish stuff, get lost, eat piss your dick. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling dangerous tonight, boys. I might fuck around and give a moose a muffin and this motherfucker who's with me, huh? Might fuck around and give a mouse a cookie. All right, cool. Hell yeah, get lost, come on. All right, dud, that was a dud harmonica. Tony, I'm starting over, all right. <laughs> Can't riff during the minute. Come on now. Get lost. All right, cool. So dangerous. Biden hates to see it. God. Hey, Biden, I got six words for you, sweetheart. Let me check the White House for ghosts. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> do you have to? I, uh... <laughs> Get lost. Lock the bathrooms. I, uh... <laughs> Nobody's pissing. Still riffing. Okay, cool. I, uh... <laughs> I used to do weird combinations of drugs when I was a teenager. Uh, like, I'd drink a bunch of Tuss, Robitussin, and I would, uh, I'm America's Robitussin comedian, and I would, uh, <laughs> I'd drink a bunch of Tuss, and then I'd take a bunch of Adderall, too, so I'd be focused, but I'd be focused on the wrong shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just be scribbling in a notebook, like, what if worms could scream? Uh, all right, thank you, I'm Casey Rocket. Thank you so much. Amazing. <laughs> Right on brand, complete chaos. I love to see it. Jim, what do you think about the great case? I love them. I, I worked with you this uh, last night. You did two shows, and the energy is crazy, but the jokes are good. Like, a lot of guys mask bad jokes with energy, and your jokes are great. Like, really funny and great writing. Oh, thanks, uh, man. I just Thank enjoy you. watching you a lot. You're really funny. Hell yeah. Thank 100 you, guys. 100% agree. <laughs> Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting new perspectives. Lock the bathrooms. I like. <laughs> it's interesting because if you did that, you would be locking people in and out at the yeah. same time. It would create within minutes there would be chaos down there. Just the way I wanted. <laughs> 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 have you ever have you ever put the microphone stand somewhere and said no? It actually should stay there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, it feels better to, yeah, have it in motion, kinetic energy. Uh, <laughs> you guys know kinetic energy. Um, yeah, just have it, it's good to stay in motion. It helps me be uh, fluid, whatever that means. Sure. But yeah, just keep moving, keep moving, keep being brave. It felt weird to, uh, <laughs> it was weird to actively kind of improvise a little bit in the minute. Because I was like, oh, I probably have 10 seconds left. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> Yeah, Tusk comic, and I was like, oh, trying to get back to it. So, Not only does he move the microphone a lot, he also moves the stool a lot. Yeah. He jumps over the stool, things like that. And I had only seen him here in this room and uh, in The Little Boy, which is, has about the same size stage, and I took him to open up for me in a massive theater a few weeks ago, and I, I realized that he uses all of the stage that he's given no matter what. That's where I learned that. A crab at 45 miles an hour, sideways <laughs> like that, and then back. Never losing sight of the crowd. Staying square the entire time. The harmonica toss. I didn't know someone could toss a harmonica 40 yards behind them like that <laughs> while telling jokes. Everything was bigger. 
I wouldn't have guessed that about him, but uh, he might use more stage than any comedian I've ever seen before. Well, I was amazed, too. Coming out, I was like, I mean, I think you're really funny, but I was like, oh, please let him knock the drums over. I thought that would be so <laughs> fucking great. But you moved well in the space. You don't overuse what you have. So, yeah, very impressive. You're very oh. aware of your surroundings. Thank you. Yeah, I try to be. Yeah, it's a heat, heat signature thing. I try to keep <laughs> that. <laughs> it's like a velociraptor. You know how they say... Uh, Fighter jets, it's not, you know, they say fighter jets. They, um, it's not about where they are, it's about where they aren't. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of the, what I operate on. So F, F-15 rules. So, yeah. Wow. I've actually never heard that about fighter jets, but I believe it when you said it. I don't, I don't know. I heard that one time. Okay. I've also never heard of it. It is incredible. You have a real knack at making up references that uh, perhaps have never existed before. <laughs> Uh, is looking for ghosts at the White House something you've always wanted to do, or is this just with this new administration? <laughs> <laughs> Got another one. The Undertaker walks out. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's something, it's definitely piqued my interest the last few years. I've been getting more into ghost hunting. I, uh, <laughs> we all, we contain dualities, right? Multiplicities, dualities. Plato talked about this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, ph the, the philosopher. The toy, not the philosopher. Yeah, the philosopher, not the food. Yeah. I, uh... He, uh... <laughs> Come on, now. <laughs> oh, I just got Casey rocketed right in the face. That was incredible. She Bam. Got him. Yeah! I, <laughs> I, uh... But I'm a complicated guy, and... <laughs> It's funny to, to bring that up in the context of hunting ghosts. I, um, but Winona Judd was out here earlier, and I wrote a song, and I would love to sing the song that I wrote. Oh, wow. Yeah. We've never had Casey do a okay. song before. This is very exciting. I have to... It's a short song, so it's kind of like a country song. I don't know. You guys know, you know what you want? Like a... Uh, it's a little... It's like... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Be careful what you wish there for, Casey. You're okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. It's kind of complicated, so I just got to look at it really quickly. Okay, here we go. It's called How Far Can a Quarter Go? And it's, um, it's a serious song, so don't laugh. It's really serious. Okay. time in every woman's life where she's got to make a choice The future seems so far from now Sitting in this little one-horse town But I know I gotta find my voice Sitting here staring at the phone Praying how far can a quarter go Till I lose my voice I've got regrets and I told you so you <laughs> Now I'm sitting here in the waiting room And I don't want to see you go How far can a quarter go? Thank you, that's the only idea But it's pretty good It's pretty good So <laughs> Pretty exciting no big deal. I'm a first time singer song. <laughs> first time singer songwriter, so pretty good. Not that bad. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> it went really good. It went really good, I think. I I think it went really good. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you're your own music critic. <laughs> How fucking a quarter go? That was good. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was your favorite song of the year. Uh, it's the question that's on all our minds. <laughs> and, <laughs> how far can a quarter go? It's like, I don't want to explain too much about it, but <laughs> it's like, can this quarter take you back to what you once have? Like at a payphone. So that's about... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, Winona Judd has something she oh, wants to say up there. Yeah. Hold on. Here she is. Everybody's silent. Winona Judd. Uh -oh. 
Thank you. Oh, oh shit! He just got signed to a record deal. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Winona Judd just made a new Winona yeah. Bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible. Casey, what a you, night. you convinced her that yep. it was great. With Thank your, you. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, She's not going to help you. She's just showing you what you can do with a quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Casey, uh, you're a goddamn superstar. We love you so much. So Thank much you. fun. There he goes. The great Thank Casey. You guys. Rocket, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Like that, it has begun. No one starts a show quite like Casey Rocket. And now we switch over to the bucket where anything can happen. We're gonna meet some new people here. Make some noise for John Condalick with 60 seconds uninterrupted. John Condalick, everybody, come on. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Mothership. How's it going, everybody? Goddamn right. How's your week been? Mine's been all right. The other day, someone said that I had resting youth pastor face. <laughs> Little bit about me. Uh, I'm an amputee missing three and a half of my fingers. Totally cool to laugh. Last to bet. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what happened? Well, like my birth, it was an accident. So at least with that accident, someone came. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I actually got a pretty good deal because I got three and I got one half off. So tell your fucking friends. Hell yeah, dude. I put the armed in armed forces, you know what I'm saying? Because my hand looks like a gun and the state of Texas at the same fucking time. So the great state of fucking Texas. So fucking laugh. No, I'm just Guys, I'm John Condalick. Thanks so much. Yeah, John Condalick. Very fun minute. Great set. I, there's something about you. I can't quite put my fingers on it. <laughs> Jim, what do you think? Tony, about seriously, this guy? give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Was Fuck yeah, dude. Incredible. Uh, John, I would give you knuckles, but. Uh, <laughs> We could bones it. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, you how did can you do that. How did you how did you lose them? Uh well uh <laughs> I got fourth degree burns, actually. Fireworks. Oh. No. Um I uh I had my hand in cement and there was a makeup accident for a film. And they, I was actually playing um a guy who gets his fingers cut off. And I just take <laughs> method acting way too seriously. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. I'm Weird. coming after you, Daniel Day. <laughs> Fucking look out. <laughs> No, but so they use the wrong materials and they basically use something called UltraCal 30, which is basically like a cement. And so I had a chemical burn and I got fourth degree burns, which is charred bone. And my veins were destroyed. Uh, joints were destroyed. Everything was destroyed. They couldn't save them. We were in the, oh, we, I was in the hospital for like weeks and they just eventually were like, we got to amputate. What so. happened here? Was this directed by Alec Baldwin? What exactly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a crazy... What, what kind of movie was this? Idle Hands? <laughs> what movie was this? What was this for? Yeah. It was for a student project, actually. Oh. oh yeah. No. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh. It gets worse. It gets worse. Tell us more. Uh, the, the filmmakers, they were foreign exchange students. Didn't speak English at all. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It was oh. crazy. And you know what's even crazier? Uh, technically, Quentin Tarantino's responsible for this. Tell us more. I know. So... <laughs> uh, I think I saw this. Kill Fingers? Yeah. No, the Hateful Three. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> Got him. Oh, Got him. my God. Fuck yeah. Uh, so, if you're not familiar, Quentin Tarantino made a movie called Four Rooms. Are you familiar? Yes, very much so. Fuck yeah. So in his segment, there were four different stories, four different directors. In his story, he was um, doing yes. basically that story. Yes. You have to light your lighter so many times. If you fuck up, you get to chop. Right. They did that beat for beat. They just basically stole the beats. And I met T Tarantino at the store, and I got it. I was, don't meet your heroes when you're high on edibles. <laughs> yeah. So... I told him that, and he was losing his goddamn mind, and uh, I'm like... So wait, how does the final scene in Four Rooms apply to your thing? They, they ripped it off completely, so, beat for beat. So they, they were, were doing the exact same story. 
Oh. I was the guy lighting the lighter oh. and getting the chop. But we never got to filming because we were doing the makeup prep and they fucked up there. Wow. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> Did you immediately know, like, the second your hand was in, there was a problem? No. No. Oh. So uh, it was just like, it, I thought it was like silicone or, or I'm not silicone, like plaster. But uh, it was not. So it was just mushy, wet stuff. And then a few moments later, it started getting a little bit lukewarm. But as soon as that happened, it skyrocketed in heat. Oh, and I jumped up. And oh, by the way, when I was telling Tarantino this, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad this happened. I, it happened for a reason. And one of the reasons was there was another actress there. She showed up late and she put her whole hand in and it went up to her wrist. And so she would have lost it. But as soon as I jumped up, screaming, like, good God, it's fucking burning me, she pulled it out, and she was safe. So wow. thank God for that. That's a blessing. Did yeah. she at least give you a hand job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, she owes you one, so, dude. Yeah. 100%. She fucking so, owes you one. Yeah. She, she, or you could finger blast her with whatever <laughs> that is right there. <laughs> the old fucking clit monster right there. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, I like my to tickle goodness. them a little bit and make Look them laugh. At that. You know the old saying, double bitch. thumb. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. The old fucking mouse pad you got right there. <laughs> the old fucking. Wow. <laughs> Call that the nub rub. That's the fucking yeah. nub rub. Oh my. Careful, dude. We might God. start an OnlyFans page. <laughs> That's incredible. You She's going to call it her handyman. <laughs> Fuck yeah, wow. dude. Wow. Absolutely incredible. What um, a nice guy, by the way. The positive you find in it is that she was okay. Yeah. She was. To, a, to she, me, that would have been the negative. Like, if only that bitch put her hand in first. I'd be fucking so, fine. It, it's it's layered. It's multi-layered. So there, I'm glad it happened. So that was a that was a silver lining. Thank God for that. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have got hired at this independent film studio. If I hadn't worked at that independent film studio, I wouldn't have met my wife. If I hadn't met my wife, I wouldn't have started comedy. If I hadn't started comedy, I wouldn't have ended up at the store meeting Tarantino, and I wouldn't be here in front of all you guys at fucking Kill Tony. Amazing. So, Amazing. <laughs> Full circle, you know? Did the film get finished? Is nope. It, Fuck no. That no. was just like Rust. We didn't do yeah. it like Rust. We, we stopped shooting. We, we didn't... We, <laughs> Dunzos. They fled the fucking country. Sure. I bet. <laughs> so if you've seen some Koreans like, yay, hi, with like three and a half fingers, <laughs> point them out. Wow. Are yeah. you right-handed? Yes. That's good. That's, yeah. that's good. Yeah. At least it looks nice, too. Like, that's like it, a nice... Thanks, dude. Yeah. That, yeah. And you got a great story. It is cool. It's a yeah, great story. I, it, yeah, it's it's not bad. No one notices either because everyone thinks I'm like making a fist. Yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Like the fucking producers backstage, they didn't notice, and I shook their fucking hand. Uh. The bartenders out on Sixth Street, they put change in my hand, and it fucking rolled off. Uh. How far can a quarter go? <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. <laughs> it smells fine. It Tony, smells fine. no one ever wants to play rock, paper, scissors with me ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet. They're just like rock, paper, scissors, and they're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Hatchet. Like, yeah. Whatever I want it to be, man, <laughs> I fucking win. So it fucking pays to look like the butler from Scary Movie 2. That's all I'm fucking saying. <laughs> Let oh. me use my good hand. Oh, I can so. see it. So how long have yeah. you been doing stand-up, John? Two and a half years. And where at? Uh, L.A. L.A. Yeah, I just That's drove fun. up. You can we make the logo land. with your hand. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reverse. We cell. literally just got in here at 6.30. Okay. For, yeah. In time for sign-ups. And what do you do for work? How do you make a living? So uh, for a living, I've been in the film industry for 13 years, and I edit movie trailers for a living. Oh, okay. That's well, my your day fingers job. also hit the cutting room floor. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, That's amazing. That's, that's good. I like that. Uh, any trailers we would uh, recognize or anything? Uh, like that? No, it's a lot of uh, five million dollar movies, like the kind of stuff that you see straight to. Like, have you seen any Aaron Eckhart action movie? Yeah, no one has. So it's shit like that. Mm, okay. It you, doesn't make me happy anymore. Comedy makes me happy, and I've been pulling back. Right, pulling back. So, yeah. what's your love life like? Um, <laughs> a lot of fisting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, not great. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, mainly because my wife doesn't let me have a girlfriend. Uh, oh, you're married. Yes, sir, I'm married. Oh, I can't tell. There's not a ring on there. Yeah, I, I've moved it. <laughs> oh, you see the old switcher ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look so at that. This is... This is... <laughs> 
this is really embarrassing. Yeah. I was uh, <laughs> I was originally gonna wear my ring on like a necklace, but I'm like, this is too like Frodo, Lord of the Rings. It's yeah. gay. Yeah. Right. yeah. I was like, I earned this shit. I'm gonna wear it on my ring. I just moved it over here. So I, love I think it. people still still get it, right? Okay. You still get it? Fuck yeah. yeah. I like don't your jacket. Like, don't interject the audience. Their Sorry. votes don't matter. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> he keeps like, hey, what do you think? Like, get cool. How about you? All right. Sorry, Tony. If, if you uh, see a bunch of people waiting in an elevator, will you run up and go, I got it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is an amazing. It's almost more pointier than a regular yeah. pointer finger. You have no joints fluffing it yeah, up. This or is anything. just the knuckle right there. It's, it's sharp. Wow. Has it ever come in handy? No pun intended. <laughs> No, uh, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Haven't done anything cool with it. But you know one thing I've always wanted to do? No one's ever sucked it before. Well, you're at the right place at the right time. <laughs> it just so happens I'm into the freakiest shit you've ever heard of in your life. It's already so. hard, Tony. <laughs> I love it's it. It's hard. I love yeah. it. Hopefully okay. you meet Paul McCartney, I'm sure. He- <laughs> <laughs> any other <laughs> Thank uh, you. any other special skills or talents? Yeah, um, I have a couple of notes here. I can uh, oh, lick wow. my... Yeah, because for you, this reason. You know the show. Yes, um, I can lick my own nose. Um, I My eyes can shake. I could do that. Yeah, you do the eye yeah, shaking thing? I can do that. Yeah, it's God a weird right. thing. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. can do it. No, you, you lick your nose. Um, Whoa! <laughs> Hell Yeah. He can eat pussy, ladies. Yeah. yeah. And For those of you that absolutely have to get finger blasted with a left hand, no, this guy I, can eat pussy. I always finish what I eat. I'm a gentleman, so. What is the eye Fuck shake? Yeah. What is the eye shake? The. That. Oh, yeah. You see it? <laughs> yeah, it's frightening. It's a, it's it's a frightening thing. In, in school. It's a frightening thing. Yeah, yeah, I learned it at school, too. Yeah. It's a weird I thing. I got jealous of a kid, and I'm like, I want to fucking do that. And yeah. I, like, worked on it until I did it. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. And uh, the others. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> useless talents for sure the best shore of 2024 <laughs> goes to Jim Norton so far uh, sure uh, <laughs> that's I, a great look for a date that's a great look I 100% uh, I have this weird ability that um, it's a stupid superpower but it's more like a defense mechanism uh, my body just shuts down if it gets too stressed and it will just like I'll just turn off and I'll just pass out what are you a goat yeah yeah <laughs> You guys ever see goats? They, uh, yeah, that's me. Whole body just shuts down. Well, uh, John, an amazing performance. Yep. Very fun. Great way to start representing the buckets. Can you catch this? 100%. Yeah, there he goes. John Condelick, ladies and gentlemen, getting the buckets started tonight. How fun, huh? Make some noise for John, everybody. Hey, y'all. This podcast is sponsored by Game Time. Guys, I'll be honest for the first time ever. Buying tickets these days is hell on earth. You cannot tell if the seats are good. You can't find the last-minute tickets. That's why I use Game Time. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Red man. I love Game Time so much. I used it recently to go see a concert. It's great. I cannot stress this enough. They have flash deals, zone deals, views from every seat. You can see where you're sitting and where the stage is. It's awesome. What more do you need? Game Time gives you the lowest prices guaranteed, too. So I know I'm in good hands. That was beautiful, Red Band. Did you know about their all-in pricing and that toggling this feature shows the total upfront with no surprise fees at checkout? They also offer game time ticket coverage where your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. It's crazy. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create the account, use code kill Tony for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code K I L L T O N Y for $20 off. That's why download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Hey, y'all. This podcast is sponsored by Skylight Frame. Do your parents or grandparents live far away? It's easy to drift apart when you don't see each other very often. Don't let another day go by without meaningful contact. You can stay connected with the Skylight Frame. 
Red band. The skylight frame is a touchscreen photo frame that your whole family can upload photos to, and they appear in seconds. You get to share your favorite moments with the people that matter to you. The perfect gift for moms and grandmas. Anyone can send photos to the frame in just seconds via email or the app, and it's a great way to keep in touch with friends and family. It's simple to use. The setup takes less than 60 seconds, and even the least tech savvy can use it. It looks like a real photo frame that adds a beautiful touch to your home. There's no doubt about it. I love this skylight frame, and I'm going to give this to my mom and grandma because I love them so dang much. And as a special limited time offer for our listeners, get 15% off your skylight frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash Tony. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com slash Tony. Mother's Day is coming right around the corner, so order today to get 15% off your purchase at skylightframe.com slash Tony. Well... You know, anything can happen here at the Comedy Mothership, and I think that uh, I think that we have a very, very special treat right now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think I get to bring up two of my favorite humans on planet Earth joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Tucker Carlson and Joe Rogan! <laughs> No idea this was going on until 30 seconds ago. I love it. He had no idea he was going on stage. Here's He's just finding out right now. We were literally at dinner, and he's like, I want to show you my new place. We're standing backstage, and I didn't know I was coming out until I heard my name. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the old Post Malone right there. <laughs> We've That's done we, this before. We did the Post Malone the same thing. Uh Tucker, welcome to the show. Let's go front. <laughs> Let's go front. Okay. Luckily, perfect. I'm sober. <laughs> Here, this one's for you. Put that one back in the stand. Cool. I love it. Are all three of these working? Maybe, okay. We're maybe gonna, you, we're, should, you we're, should take this one, and I'll take that one. We're going to get them pumping Thanks. here. We're going to get them working. Tucker, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having this me. This is an amazing, <laughs> amazing uh, By the way, that laugh is real. He yeah. does it all the time. We're going to have fun I'm going to grab a zen if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> we love it. Scoot on down, guys, all the way as far as you possibly can so we can get some of these fucking poor souls up Hi, here. Hey, buddy. Tucker, you know how the show works? Boy. There's stand-up comedians over 230 signed up for the chance to get 60 seconds on this stage tonight. <laughs> yep. I'm an unemployed talk show host, not a stand-up <laughs> stand comedian. So, no, I have no idea how this works. Well, we're going to watch them. And I have them. a sense it won't go well. No, it's going to be great. But okay. we're going to watch them, and then afterwards we give a little bit... A little bit of input. It's a little uh, free speech version of uh, America's Got Talent, but it's just yep. dirty stand-up comedy. I can do that. Hell yeah. Tucker Carlson, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan and Jim Norton. This is Kill Tony. <laughs> We're going to watch 60 seconds uninterrupted. Ladies and gentlemen, your next bucket pull goes by the name of Lino Rodriguez. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Lino Rodriguez. And here we go. Here's Lino, everybody. Hi, my name is Lino Rodriguez, and I'm an ass man. Yes. <laughs> Not because of the shape, but because of the smell. You know what I mean? I'm more of an aroma guy, you know? I have a dimple. I think that's pretty cool. I think dimples are the only physical deformity that will get you laid, you know? No one ever looked at my club feet and was like, yo, nine iron. Come get some of this pussy. <laughs> I like to look at, uh, you know, a woman with scoliosis and be like, hey, little cinnamon twist. <laughs> Let me break that back some more. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, <yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Oh man, this is nice. Uh, hmm. Thank you, that's good. Hell yeah, that's Lino good. Rodriguez good. with his Kill Tony debut. What Wait happened the... there at the end, Lino? I got excited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fun. That's a fun experience. And I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Yeah, right. That's, yeah. that's really yeah. the answer I was looking for yeah. there. <laughs> you got excited. Uh, You're confident can't, can't, can't. in your dimple. I like that. I respect that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I made it myself. I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, you look good. Yes, thank you. Uh, you look good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. There's, there's love on this stage tonight. Lino, how, how old are you? I'm 27. 27. How long have you been doing stand-up? Like two and a half, three years now. Okay. Yeah. Where at? Um, I'm originally from Mississippi. Big M's, what's up? And... Wow, the last comedian couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he only had one finger. Yeah, oh, I got you it. Up. Yeah. The, good, the good one? <laughs> was, uh, yeah, it was, but it was cut in half. Oh, for, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so Lena, you're yeah. from Mississippi, and then what? You were getting somewhere with that. I lived in New Orleans for a bit, you okay. know, had some fun, got a little drunk, had yeah. a good life there. Yeah. For and how I'm long not were you there Austin. for? About a year and a half. About a year and a half. Yeah. What do you do for work, Lino? I'm a security guard down at the Vulcan. Oh, oh wow. Yes, your okay. ex-wife. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Vulcan, my ex-wife, because I used to do shows there a lot. Yes. That's what you mean by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> well, I think you yes. forgot what you were going to say again yeah. there, Lena. <laughs> do you really it. have a club foot? I do. I was born with two club feet. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Disgusting. My goodness. Well, this is quite the fucking carnival yeah. of a show yeah. I have here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the deformities are growing with each bucket pull. <laughs> My goodness. The it's hands good. and feet on these people yeah. are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I good night it. for cripples. Fuck so yeah, you work dude. in security. Yes, yeah, sir. 27 years old. What do you do for fun? Uh, golf. Uh, golf. <laughs> I'm a killer mini golf player, yes. Uh, I like to um, play music. I like to hang out what on What kind rides. of music do you play? Uh, alternative music, like Wh rockish type you, things. What do you do? You sing? You play guitar? Yeah. What do yes. you do? I sing and play guitar. That's really? Do. Yeah, 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 I do. Really? Why do you yes. say yeah like that, Michael? You... I want to hear him play. Wanna you want to hear him play? Do you guys want to uh, hear him play a song? Yeah. Oh, Matt, you going to uh, let this guy borrow your guitar? Matt likes to play hard to get. You could probably, you think you could play Matt's guitar? Sure, if you let me. I'll, okay. I'll try, yeah. Well, yeah, he definitely has to let you. Put the mic Fuck. in the mic stand yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to wrap this guitar around your fucking goddamn big ass yeah, shoulders. No, D, relax. Um, D's out of control. He thinks you're gay. D is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> You relax, D. You relax. I'm relaxed. I'm always relaxed. Okay. D Madness was drinking Crown and Cokes right, during bro, the sound check at 6.15. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. D's okay. out of control. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. For those of you that like Julio Iglesias uh, blow-up dolls. So, this is it. You've heard of Green Day. This is Brown Day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making his Kill Tony music debut, this is Lino Rodriguez. Lino, do you want a pick, dude? No! No, it's okay. Okay. Uh, th thank you. All right. Fuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> it came out the strap. All right, all right, here, here, wait, wait, wait. We're getting somewhere. All right, fuck it. Is this how far does a quarter go? <laughs> Last night I had a dream that you were with me. That when I woke up, you were nowhere to be seen. Why does my mind like to fuck with me? You're the psychedelic princess of my dreams. Eyes, yellow dress, those looks were made to impress. You're so beautiful. It's true. <laughs> all right, all yes, right. It. What? That's enough. Uh, 
That's enough. It was, it was yeah. You do music like you do comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Similar vibe. That was. Are you heavily influenced by Sublime? <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I, I was. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. And okay. Green Day and all those good people. Yeah. Okay. What's the name of the song? Uh, Daydreams. Oh, yeah, man. Did yes. you write it? Yes. You do a lot of like, you're more like reggae style? No, nah, that's just the one I, my mind came up with in the moment because right. I'm in front of this beautiful audience. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't really think of anything again. Who my is that written about? Ah, uh, this woman I met while I was doing psychedelics in Washington. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. State or DC? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which one? State or DC? Yeah. Which oh, Sp Spokane, Spokane, Washington. Oh, oh hell yes! Yeah. So you yeah. guys were on meth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was we, Daniel Johnson. We were candy flipping a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not letting okay. the cops in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. No, no. It was a good time, man. It, it, yeah. Uh, another fun fact about me is my dad was murdered. Whoa, uh, tell us uh, more about this. What a way to bring that up. <laughs> we're getting to the nitty gritty, baby. Uh, Imagine being on a date with this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell us more. This sounds great. Yeah. We love this here on this show. Oh, uh, yeah, man. My dad uh, was murdered. Uh, he you didn't really die in a cool way or anything, like uh, getting hit by a car or dying in a submarine looking for the Titanic. <laughs> It's uh, a long yeah. setup. Yeah. Sure. You don't need to play reggae <laughs> music, guys. Yeah. So how was he murdered? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, Sony. These uh, setups he are got, tremendous. He, uh, he got hit it's in the face with a long adventure, adventure oh. just yeah. like your uh, grandparents took to get here. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> it's a illegal immigration joke. Not that big of a deal. How was he murdered? He got hit in the face with a baseball bat. Whoa. Wow. We have a sound effect for that. We've been waiting. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you never came back home run after that? No. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What was the reason? What did he do? Uh, he was a whore. He, he was fucking around with somebody's wife, I think, or some oh, shit. Oh, like so that. the guy oh. caught him hitting a bat. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> were, Absolutely. They did well, a great job on defense. He died doing what he loved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. How old were you when that happened? I wasn't born yet. I was, in, uh, I was still in the, the womb. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he was fucking somebody else while your mom was pregnant? Bingo. Your yeah, dad yeah. rules. Yeah, wow. he was pretty sick. <laughs> 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 I, wow. I, have like, I have a sister that's three months older than me. Uh, yeah, he, he got around. He had a good time in the wow. 90s. Oh, okay. Incredible. Yeah. I, I guess Puerto Ricans don't like contraceptives. I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, you're correct about that. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My oh, man, goodness. this is awesome. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the good news is is that your dad is watching right now. Uh, he's, lo <laughs> he's looking up at you thinking, um, <laughs> wow, I'm proud of my boy. <laughs> yes, the sweet sounds, symphony sounds of hell, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving a bunch of unborn children with me. <laughs> Technically, he overdosed on crack. <laughs> That's a bat. Okie dokie. Uh, so he never got to call you little slugger, huh? No. no, no. <laughs> oh no. The only did the guy that hit him start rounding the bases at least? Okay. <laughs> All right. This is out of control. Yeah. Wow. Is it crazy your dad got hit with a bat and you have club feet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're more of a soccer guy, I guess, huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Lino, uh, oh, very good interview. I love Thank your uh, you. honesty. There's a little joke book. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. Welcome Bye, to Kill Tony. There he goes. Yeah. You know what? We're going to get one of our Golden Tinder winners up here. This guy's been saving up for a while to do a new minute in front of you. This is uh, one of the uh, longest standing Golden Ticket winners. Won it in Houston about a half a decade ago. We've watched him grow up in front of our eyes. Make some noise for the great. Brand new minute from Enrique Chacon, everybody. A new minute from Enrique. No, 
I gotta catch my breath, dog. Oh. Anyways, man, I got an aggressive dog at home. I got this motherfucker during COVID, so I didn't have a chance to socialize him. And now he wants to kill everybody, bro. And this is an issue. He tried to buy my brother the other day, and I'm defending him against my family because he's my fucking fur baby, right? But as I'm defending him, I'm realizing that I started sounding like a school shooter's mom, y'all. I'm sorry he hurt those people. You just got to get to know him. He's a good boy. I think it's fucked up that my dog has insurance and I don't. Look how much I'm sweating. Look at me. I need all the insurance I can get. He has Allstate just in case he kills somebody. That's a grown Latino man. All I have for insurance is a Virgin Mary candle. And Vicks Vaporub. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. That is the return of a golden ticket when the difference the caliber of difference between a regular bucket pull and one of the uh, legends of Kill Tony, Enrique Chacon, coming What's in, flexing up, a new minute, ending with a big applause break. Fantastic stuff. Remind us all, how long you been doing stand-up? It's been about uh, five years now, man. I've been doing stand-up. Yeah. yeah. You were instantly likable yeah. and yeah. loved on this show. That. You were famously the West Hollywood Bear in the two arena episodes. Fuck yeah. The crowd went wild for you. It was fucking insane, man. We'll yeah. do it all over again. Hell yeah. <laughs> Definitely will. Um, so what is the deal? Is this true? You have a crazy dog, Enrique? I have a crazy fucking dog at home. He's like a pit bull mox boxer mix, bro. But honestly, he's just a serial killer, bro. <laughs> I don't know how to handle this motherfucker. He's nice to me and my girl, but dude, he killed my fucking, my favorite chicken today, bro. He killed a chicken? I swear to God, man. I had a, a Andrea Yates moment. Like, bro, I was ready to oh, drown no. this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I was like, yo, it's time for a bubble bath up in this bitch, you know? <laughs> like, man, this is like my best chicken, my fattest chicken producing the best eggs, you know? Because I live in a fucking ranch, right? But, man, I don't know what to do, Tony. Wow, just kill the yeah. chicken. Yeah. A whole waste of a chicken. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't Right now, somewhere, him, David Lucas is crying. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's fucked up. It is crazy. Like instinctually, it, like it, it's it, I killed the chicken, it broke his neck, but it started eating it, it eating the chicken asshole first. You know, like uh, that's one <laughs> fucking dirty dog. Like, yeah, you he's got. a he's sounds a predator. Like, yeah. but... It sounds like Jim Norton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trained him well. <laughs> he's a predator, but that's sexual predator behavior. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Well, maybe he started eating the chicken's ass first, and the chicken didn't go for it, and he fucking bit its neck. <laughs> I mean, you would know, Jim. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on both ends of it. <laughs> I love yeah. it. So you're living out there on a ranch, huh? Living out on a ranch, Looks like man. you're also living on a thousand island and a fucking creamy Caesar as well. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ranch is all about blue cheese, baby. Oh, blue cheese, is. bro. You Hell got me yeah. fucked up, Tony. Oh, no, I can see the chunky blue cheese, chunky too, right? Cheese. <laughs> you like That's it. actually the name of my OnlyFans, Chunky Blue Cheese. You know Hell what I'm yeah. Like and subscribe, bro. I recently quit my job at Bucky, so I'm over here trying to hustle up, man. Hell yeah. I had to, bro. I had to, man. I was wearing that beaver suit, and I kept, um, I kept getting molested by grown men, dude. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I kept getting molested, bro. I was wearing that beaver suit, and they would whisper in my ear, I wonder if you're a man or a woman, you know? And uh, story of my life. <laughs> I'm glad you can relate, Jim. I really am glad you can relate, man, but because of my body type, they couldn't tell, you know? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Enrique has the only, only fans that he gets paid in actual fans. He's always <laughs> overheating, absolutely sweating. <laughs> How old are you again, Enrique? You are one of the unhealthiest young boys that's ever been on this show before. Tw I'm, I'm 26 right now. 26? 26. Yeah, 26. Have you ever talked to a heart doctor about your profuse so sweating? I, I recently got rid of my pre-hypertension, you know? I just started going on a few walks, and I recently started doing jujitsu. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bro. I recently started taking jujitsu classes, but I got beat by like this 16 year old country boy, bro. He beat the fuck out of me, man. By the way, for those of you just listening to the podcast or watching, I guess there's no way for you to know, but it is truly 66.6 .6 degrees in this room right now on this stage. We keep a thermometer here. Breaking news, yes. <laughs> Breaking news. 66.6 .6 degrees. The mar oh, it's 0.7 now. The laughs bring up the temperature. 
Um, so you must sweat like this absolutely all the time, right? You know, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah daughter, all the fucking time. Do you do baby. any cardio at all? Like other I, than chew jitsu or whatever the fuck you do? Chew jitsu, you motherfucker. Yeah, dude. I mean, chew jitsu, that's probably the only way I could get that motherfucker off of me, bro. I mean, he had me on side control. I don't, you know, I'm not familiar like Joe, bro. I don't know the positions, but I just call it the dying fetus position, bro. I was just on yeah. the side. He had me on his seatbelt, bro. He was fucking me up, dude. Wow. Wow. Uh, do they have... A, what color belt are you in? Does it actually fit around your waist? <laughs> yeah. Do you have to get a jujitsu belt extender? Just say the same with I'm a half white belt, half yellow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, my, yo. gi, my gi is full of mustard stains and cum stains, Tony. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of mayo. You're fucking killing it, dude. This is a real, real sign of uh, greatness. What else is going on? What's the coolest thing happening in your career right now before I let you go? Anything um, else? The coolest thing that happened in my career, man. So I'm focused now on full-time comedy since I quit Bucky's, bro. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, dog. I appreciate that. Looking for road gigs. I'm looking to hit the road hard, right? Um, so I ran out of PTO at Bucky's, and that's also was fucking me up, man, because... <laughs> They wanted me to be the beaver for like all night. I'm like, bro, fuck, dude. That's too much, man. Too was much. it hard for you to hang up the uh, Bucky helmet? It was, it was hard, bro, but it, I think it's, it was the right decision, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. It was the right it. decision. But that was the only sauna therapy I was getting at the moment. You know? <laughs> Tucker, what did you think about uh, Enrique Chacon? You watch a lot of stand-up? You a fan of stand-up? I love this man. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Tucker. <laughs> Maybe in return, you can give me a green card, you know? <laughs> I'll do any gig in this country, but outside the country, I'm at the end of my man Tucker, you know what I mean? You You're already me. taking jobs Americans can't do. <laughs> oh! What? Enrique, who do you think Tucker Carlson is? <laughs> He's I'm new sorry, here. Man. I saw the wig. I was like, dude, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to tug on it. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, hey, that's some that's some good weave, dog. That's some good weave. He must have found that weave in Houston. That's fucking fire. Well, it's time for you to weave, Enrique. Uh, we love you. There he goes, the great love Enrique Chacon. Thank you. And this is where we find all of our regulars. This is where we find completely insane people. Anything can happen. 60 seconds uninterrupted going to Mark Wellborn, everybody. Mark Wellborn is next on Kill Tony, the land of opportunity. Here he is, Mark Wellborn. Uh, so my dad told me a story recently, uh, unlike that other bucket pool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he told me uh, that when I was a baby, he tried to mansplain breastfeeding to my mom. And uh, since my dad grew up on a dairy farm and he ha helped baby calves latch to their mother's udders, uh, he decided to give her a few pointers. And he told me that the trick is you have to rapidly smack the udder, in this case, the breast. And that'll get the milk to start to flow. And then my dad goes... Yeah, and she didn't care for it. Oh, what, she didn't care for getting her boobs smacked around while she's trying to breastfeed? Or the fact you compared her to a cow, which... Anyone else here play slap the bag with their mother's tit growing up? Because apparently we were. My dad would slap, I would drink, and my mom would file for divorce. Okay, Mark Wellborn. <laughs> Fun stuff. 
I've always wondered what 60 Seconds would be like, uh, performed by Anthony Jeselnik's sperm. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? I am 26 years old. Okay, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, after tonight, it'll be three years and nine months. Wow, very, very, uh, you're keeping a close track on that. Yeah. Yes, I checked today. Okay. Yeah. You had a tough spot. The guy in front of you had a really funny interaction with Tucker. He killed, and you came right out, and you went after the other kid's father, which I thought was great. Uh, it was very funny. It was a good instinct, and it was the best laugh you got. That was a great alive moment. Oh, it really you. was. Yeah, nice. It was. I noticed that, too. You were uh, a little bit uh, more comfortable thinking off the uh, top of your head than um, with what you planned to go with. You kind of stiffened up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, does that happen a lot? Do you get like loose during your sets? What goes on here? Yeah, I, I sometimes I guess. I, I guess it didn't happen tonight. I don't know. That feel really stiff. Do I still feel stiff? Yeah. Ah, no, no, yeah. very comfortable, very relaxed. <laughs> no. All great. right. Do I look oh. fucking stiff yeah. to you? <laughs> yeah. Come on, I've seen more relaxed people talking to Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mark, 26. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm an engineer. What are you engineering? Why'd you laugh? <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, because I already knew that. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is amazing. Yeah. I love this. This is the best Republican National Convention I've ever been to. <laughs> my entire life. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so uh, what kind of engineer are you? Civil. I'm trying to build course, back better. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully your structures are as stiff as you are. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? How does a guy like Mark Wellborn get loose? Uh, this may actually shock everyone here, but I, uh, I golf. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ah. Tucker with yeah. another I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I got a guy whose feet you can use. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And I know another guy that can point exactly where to hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Except you'll have to yell three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So, oh boy, so much fun. So, uh, Mark, other than golf, like, what's a, what's a wild thing about Mark Wellborn? Because you have this image, we all have only known you for uh, four minutes and 15 seconds, and we think you're kind of like a, you know what I mean? What, what's a wild side? What's yeah. the wild side of Mark Wellborn? I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's kind of, you know, he's stiff. He's kind of proper. He's prim. I mean, even Tucker here busts out a zin every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the wild oh. side of Mark Wellborn? Yeah. Um, I, oh, God, I don't know if I could say it here with the civil engineer. Uh, I, I, I like to get really drunk. Yeah. I, ah. But I've been. What are we talking about? A couple Zimas? <laughs> No, well. <laughs> no, I've a I've actually been sober uh, since Valentine's Day, which also was the Ash Wednesday, and I gave oh, it up for Lent. Nice. So, yeah. You look like a Capitol Hill page who has anal in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that. You look like that. You could have been the top or the bottom in this analogy as well. Um, so what happened on Valentine's Day to make you quit drinking, or was it a planned thing? It was... <laughs> no, it's uh, it it's typically I'm I'm a pretty good Catholic. I give something up each year, and I I used to like do sweets. I would I'm like I'm giving up sweets for Lent. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But like I never ate that much sweets, so I was kind of cheating God. Right. And then I got more into it, and I decided I was going to. Did gonna God ever come to you and say you were yeah. cheating? Yeah. Mark, yeah. Yeah. I know you don't even like candy that much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want you to give up gay porn one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> really show me you love me, Mark. <laughs> show me your faith. <laughs> show me, Mark. 
<laughs> Show me. <laughs> These Rishi cops are not handling it, Mark. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so you were cheating with God, and then what happened? Yeah. Uh, and then I did give up porn a couple years, uh, but I couldn't tell my grandmother that, you know, because she would always. Because she's starring in it. <laughs> 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 Why couldn't you tell your grandma? I couldn't, I'm not gonna tell my grandma I gave up porn. So what would you tell your grandma? I'd tell her sweets again. Right. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, God's like, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying to your grandmother. I don't know how God works. God's yeah. just Darth Vader to me. If you can't tell, that's how I think there. I went to a Catholic school, so like, I'm like, you know, not with it. His father, Emperor Palpatine, I think started the universe or something like that. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Mark, um, before I let you go, um, uh, you're, you're a good Catholic, you say. You yeah. hook up with a lot of chicks. What's your, what's your story with women? Uh, no, I haven't dated since 2016, but I actually just started dating a girl like within the past month. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Is yeah. she also a sex robot? <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that one up. Seem a little... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm a little stiff. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you meet her? Where'd you meet this gal? Yeah. Uh, dating app. Oh, okay. Yeah. Christian dating app? No, no. That's a weird spot. I went to Catholic Match before it was not... What happened on work. Catholic Match? Tell us. Just like a lot of widows. I couldn't... Re I couldn't even... Really yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of weirdos. <laughs> yeah, like you? <laughs> No, no, but you didn't widows. do that. Oh, oh these are weirdos. weirdos. Yeah. I'm sorry, oh, these are weirdos. Sorry. weirdos. Oh, no, my God. That, too, yeah. And you, didn't, uh, you didn't want any of the widows? Some of that good well, old... Well, they they're, they're not good at responding. They're not great... Neither are their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. My goodness. All right, well, uh, Mark, very, very fun. Congratulations. Yep. Here's a little Kill Tony joke book. Boom. There goes Mark Wellborn, everybody. Um, well, no, let's do one more and then him and uh, see what happens here. Hey, Fight fans, your boys have a big weekend coming up with UFC 300. These matchups are set to make Octagon history, so we've teamed up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to bring you closer to the action. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using our code, Kill Tony. The crown is yours, Red Band. That's right, Tony. New customers can bet just $5 on any fight and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $150 in bonus bets on DraftKings. Same game, parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including total rounds and method of victory. But Tony, what if sports betting is not available in my state? Now I'm worried. Well, worry not, Red Band. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, you can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code KILLTONY and bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code KILLTONY only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Make some noise for your next bucket pull. It is Audrey Michelle, ladies and gentlemen. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Audrey Michelle. Recently, I've been congregating with a lot of women, trying to figure out how they start masturbating for the first time. See, with men and women, it's a lot different. Dudes usually start masturbating for the first time with other dudes. You know, they find a porno mag, like, hey, bro, just found this mag. You wanna go uh, check it out? Just 12-year-old Timmy jerking off with his best friend for the first time, staring him in the eyes. With women, they start with the corner of the washer, maybe humping a pillow. Not me. I went straight to the electric toothbrush. When you start masturbating with the electric toothbrush, you never step away. 
Now my clit is calloused. I need a fucking bear trap on my ankle and a noose around my neck to bust a nut anymore. I need to pay the Chinese chiropractor in the mall a hundred bucks to just start punching my clit. It's fucking going at it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Audrey Michelle, welcome to the show. This is your first time here. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's a fun <laughs> set. In I have so many questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's and start with how most men start out masturbating. That's bullshit. By and where the way. are you getting this That's information? Total bullshit. They're mad because I'm telling all their fucking secrets. <laughs> I'll have it be known. I also started masturbating with an electric toothbrush. Yes. So I'm not one of these normal guys. And I masturbated recently with a boy named Timmy. <laughs> Did your electric toothbrush also have a My Little Pony character on it? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Coral B. That's scary. Uh, so welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up, Audrey? Uh, seriously, about two months. Uh, wow. Not so seriously, maybe about five months in total. Wow, wow incredible. Probably the best bucket pool so far of the night. Came out with a lot of, uh, it seems like you have stage presence. What have you done before that made you so comfortable on the stage? I know you're not a stripper. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, fellow librarians, get ready. Here she comes. Welcome to the East Side Strip Club. Dewey Decimal coming to the main stage. <laughs> get those pennies relic. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to soften you up. <laughs> Who's ready to go limp out there? Huh? <laughs> Who's got their toothbrush charged? <laughs> Get that jab ready. She'll show her clit. <laughs> she might give you some oral B. <laughs> toothbrush jokes, everybody. Toothbrush jokes. You gotta keep up. <laughs> Here she comes. Where'd you get that fucking shirt? <laughs> that is incredible. Can I give him a shout out? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Tech Daddy Tolu on Instagram. He makes these shirts. He's been making them for a while now. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. Tech Daddy oh. Alpha. My bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> now that you said Alpha, Rogan's a fan. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just want to say, I promised somebody else, can I do one more? Do one more what? Shout out? No, come on. What it's is this? It's Michael White. What is that? He wanted me to talk about the date we went on in Eureka. You went on a date with the rapper Michael White who makes spaghetti? I ordered the cheapest thing off the menu so I didn't have to put out. Okay. Wow. Stuck to water and everything. <laughs> All right. What was that, the cheapest thing on the menu? It's a $10 bowl of truffle fries. <laughs> wow. Wow. Absolutely incredible. The level of cuisine that, uh, that, you, uh, that you have. So you guys didn't do anything afterwards? You didn't go to your place and uh, ask to use your toothbrush or anything like that? I have uh, upgraded to the Hitachi wand since oh, then. Oh, okay, cool. congratulations. Awesome. Absolutely. You yeah. use that wait, to brush wait, your teeth? The what? <laughs> yeah. You just brushed that off, the Hitachi wand. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody uses that. What is that? It's the, I don't, you've probably seen it. You, it was like the first body massager. Yep. It's the big, like, blue and white one with a huge white ball on the top. <laughs> His eyes just got so wide. <laughs> and you plug it into the wall. And yeah. there's been videos of it exploding in women's vaginas. So it's I great. choose the one that plugs Wait. into the wall because Hold it's on, stronger. Hold on, Redman. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, the most powerful industrial vibrator ever. It's, like, this big. You plug it in the wall. And there's videos of it, like, sparking and, uh, Yeah. It's wow. cool. Why? How come you've never sent me those wow. videos? <laughs> <laughs> you sent me so many videos. You've been holding That's out. That's like piece a handheld Sibian, basically. Dude, it's like 120 grit sandpaper down there. I need something. Yeah. You're the strongest yeah. thing on the market, dude. You got to go out and steal a jackhammer. <laughs> yeah. That's what the Chinese man's doing on my clit. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. right. Audrey. What do you do for a living? What coffee shop do you work at exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I actually just quit my job slinging Zaw at Slinging Rapalo. what? <laughs> slinging Zaw at Rapalo's. What is that? Pizza. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zaw. Wow. Oh, Zaw. How old are you again? 
Audrey? I'm about to like ruin my life right now. I'm 20. Oh, you're 20. Very young. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Why How is that ruining your life by telling your age? Uh, because a lot of the places in here have been letting me in. Oh. <laughs> when do you turn 21? Uh, in February. Well, that gives you a lot of months to let the old clit take a rest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, <That's> true. <laughs> maybe shed some of that snake skin. Let it come back to... <laughs> It, this sucks, man. You have to be 21 to do mics around here. I hit like three a night, and um, after this episode comes out, I'm not getting in any of them anymore. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my god! Incredible. You laugh like there's a Hitachi in your pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Red Band? You don't have a sound effect for that? Yeah, no. <laughs> there's nothing for that. There's a goat. You have a goat. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Audrey, congratulations. Uh, your Kill Tony debut, Fun Times. Uh, Thank you. There she goes, everybody. The Kill Tony debut of Audrey Michelle, everyone. We're going to keep it moving forward here. We got another regular. And here he is, the force of nature, everybody, with a brand new minute. Not easy to do at all. And he does it every fucking week. It's your. One of your favorite comedians in the world, Cam Patterson, everybody. That, that lab bitch was a slut. All right, oh. Uh, <laughs> I seen somebody, this is serious, look at serious, look at serious real quick. I seen somebody die a couple of days ago on a bird scooter and uh, it fucked me up, dog. You feel what I'm saying? Cause my first thought was, if that scooter not broken, they not throwing that bitch away. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> my other thought was, I wanted to take the scooter cause have somewhere to go. He was still logged in on it. He ain't needed, he was dead as shit. <laughs> and I was late for a show I had to be at. You feel what I'm saying? And it's weird because he died in front of like a comedian. I'm a fucked up person. I don't think good thoughts, you feel what I'm saying? Like if he died in front of you, good sir, you'd have been like, oh my gosh, somebody just died in my face. That's so fucking sad. But my first thought, well, you died on a scooter, nigga, that's gay. That's just. <laughs> that's the gayest way to go out, nigga. Imagine you with your homeboy, you with all your dogs, and somebody comes to you, but I can tell you how you finna die. And it's three of them, right? He go, you gonna die at 97 with your whole family around. And he go, the other guy, he go, you gonna die at 74. By yourself, because you a bitch, right? And, then, and he get to the last guy, he said, you gonna die at 32 on a scooter. <laughs> well, I'll take that. I mean, <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, that yeah. how you do it, man. What's up, fuck, nigga, you good? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Cam Patterson and Tucker Carlson high-fiving. This yeah, is this a... crazy. My grandma hates you, nigga. <laughs> Didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, the fuck she yeah, does. She does. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> she can't stand your ass, dog. <laughs> she can't stand too. This is great. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> this is great. She gonna love this shit, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful, man. Hell yeah. When I see y'all, like, they go my grandma up right now, nigga. I'm gonna talk to his ass. Yeah, that's dope, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I love it, Cam. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is that beautiful? is too fucking funny. Uh, unbelievable. I don't even know where to begin with that. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we gonna talk about, baby? Let's get it. Unbelievable. Uh, so is this your guys' first time seeing Cam? No, no I've seen him a couple times. Yeah, very, very amazing. Always consistent. I love this bird scooter thing. This happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He died in front of Creek in the Cave. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. 
Wow, normally the people die on stage there, not, <laughs> not right out front. That's incredible. Yeah, it was crazy, bro. Wow. I'm traumatized. So what What was it? Did he get hit by a car? He got hit by a car at the crosswalk. He flew to the to the creek. Nigga, that's how hard he got hit. Damn, that's, that's yeah, at least bro. 30 feet or so. He got fucked up, dog. Yeah. The damn. car was going like 100 miles an hour when yeah. he hit him. But let's think about it, though. Like He was like a kid, Tony Fane. He'd be like, damn, at least he talk about me. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's That'd true. That'd be cool, dead ass nigga. That's true. <laughs> did you get a look at him? What did he look huh? like? He was black. He was R. black? R. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Was His other homeboy lost a foot. His other homeboy somebody lost else, a foot? Somebody else got healed white. And he, got, he, lost, he lost a foot. Yeah. His homeboy was on a scooter, they too? They both was on a scooter. And one lost a foot. Yeah, and they, they were bowling. They hit a scrape, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the kind of bowling that Tucker absolutely loves. Uh, <laughs> I love one of them was white. One of them was white. Okay. <laughs> Cans out here going viral again. <laughs> Oh my God! So the one, the, the one, the, good Jim, go ahead. Who's the white guy? I'm hoping it's one in the car. Huh? <laughs> oh my God! Tucker, it wasn't. He got hit. His foot is gone. His foot going to shit. Well, that that would make him the fourth most deformed person on the show tonight. That's incredible. Uh, Wow. So was the black guy alive at all, or was he, like, instantly nah, they, dead? They, uh, so I got that kind of after, but they had, um, he was on the ground, and you could see him through, like, the door. And what I heard was they, they, they put him in the ambulance, and then he just died, so they put him back on the ground, which is kind of... <laughs> oh. It's kind of fucked up when yeah. you think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, so he was just, yeah, he was just gone. He was like, right there. So he was inside of the ambulance. He died, and they put him... I'm pretty sure he just died on the street, and they, like, they just put him back to so the tour, you know what I'm saying, the court, right. and get him and shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, that is fucked up. Yeah. They definitely don't do that with white people. <laughs> There's no way. There's no chance. Uh, they would have to take them in the ambulance. There's no, we're going to put this back where we found it with... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that pretty fucked up. No? That is, it is <laughs> fucked up. I don't make the rules. You're not, you're not I just, wrong. You're not I'm wrong. just an observer <laughs> of society. Uh, Cam, what else is going on in your world? Anything else? My dad asked me that day. He was like, "How do OnlyFans work? So we finna go broke. That's what's gonna happen." <laughs> yeah, he, my dad is 64 years old. He asked him how OnlyFans work. He finna lose a lot of money, dog. <laughs> He was like, so how you find out about the girl? I saw I showed him Twitter, and he was like, oh, this is going to be great. He's going to send a lot of money on OnlyFans. It's going to be funny. Oh, yeah. 64-year-olds yeah, yeah. finding out about OnlyFans is the new, like, uh, giving away their credit card information. It's over, dog. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. over. And it's going to be hard, because some of the OnlyFans girls got hard names to spell. Oh, yeah. And my dad can't spell for shit. You no, know he cannot spell. It's going to be tough. At all. Stop listening to what I'm saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making us look great right now. My dad a great speller. He spelled real good. <laughs> Amazing. Cam, so much goddamn fun. You're a fucking phenom every single week. Unbelievable minute. Unbelievable interview. The future has arrived. And his name is Cam Patterson. Fuck yeah. All right, we're having fun. You guys, you guys having fun out there? Make some noise for your next bucket pull. 60 seconds from Tina Yukana, everybody. Tina Yukana. Hell yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Tina from Chicago. And, you know, I love coming to Texas, though. Like, this is one of my favorite places to visit. Like, oh my God, Texans know how to fucking party, okay? Like, me and my girl, we go to this honky-tonk the other day. These two cowboys come up to us, and they're just like, y'all ladies like guns. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm Middle Eastern. I love war. <laughs> and they're like, y'all want to go shooting sometime? And I'm like, let's go, yalla! 
Let's go in the alley right now and shoot beer cans. And they're like, wait a second, wait a second. We can't just go shooting anywhere now. Cops are going to stop us. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I did see an elementary school down the street. The cops will never stop us there. Oh, was that too dark for you? Oh. <laughs> okay, Tina, you kinda. All right. Am I saying that right? Yukana? Yeah. Hi. Okay. I love that. That's your real last name. What is that? What's yeah. Yukana? I'm a Syrian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What else are you? Uh, <laughs> what? I can't tell, but Jim Norton's heart is a rock. That's all I'm going off of. <laughs> I'm just using my special Jim Norton compass to figure out what's going on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I am. I am getting really sick and tired of getting discriminated against for being transgender because, especially since I'm not transgender. <laughs> Whoa! Double twist. This is like yeah. an M Night Shyamalan movie. It's like, <laughs> we're all a bunch of assholes for even assuming. <laughs> yeah, nah, jokes damn. on us. I'm, I'm about to ask for my money back. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Jim. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, all kidding aside, what is the name of your blog? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have one, but... <laughs> Incredible. What do you do for work, Tina? Uh, well, you know, I've been doing stand-up now for a little bit, and I started running some shows in Chicago. Uh, I run an all-dark comedy show at Reggie's Rock Club called Ha Ha to Hell. There you go. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you remember me. I've been on the show before. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. hi. Yeah. How are you? Absolutely great. This is, a, this is a new episode. Yeah. Hell yeah. So Chicago, famous for their sausage. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out they're also famous for their deep dish, everybody. So you never know what you're going to get with Tina here. <laughs> She's laughing. Okay. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, five years now. Five years. What do you do for fun? You seem like you do have a lot of hobbies. If you were to have a blog, what would it be about? Um, well, I like, uh, <laughs> I love music, you know, love, you know, like punk, metal, that kind of stuff, you know. Um, I like going to shows. Uh, I cook. Uh, I do, uh, I used to run a restaurant, so um, I used to be a chef. Oh, wow. Okay. Can um, I ask what the tattoos are on your hand? The numbers? Um, so, yeah, you know, the hand, the finger tattoos, it's my mom's birthday. It's Halloween. And then the um, this is my birthday, St. Patrick's Day, which was yesterday. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, knife, because I used to be a chef. <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> right on the wrist. <laughs> Good place for it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting stuff, Tina. Tell us more. What else about you? What kind of uh, guys are you into? Boys? Um, I like everybody. Uh, uh -huh. I guess uh, I could say I'm pansexual, which means uh, like you're fry whole... frying pan. Well, <laughs> I used to be a chef. <laughs> but I was gonna say, if you don't know what pansexual means, it means you're a horny ass hoe when anything goes. So. <laughs> wow. Interesting. What's the uh, what's the uh, biggest? Uh, wildest thing you ever did that you kind of regretted the next morning sexually? Uh, well, I was going to say being on Kill Tony. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love this. I'm kidding. No. I think you have bigger regrets than that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. La last time I was here, I said some nasty things, and I'm trying to keep it clean, but... <sighs> but yeah. no, yeah, I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, listen to that one creep in the dark. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the, only, gonna... <laughs> the only guy here with a deeper voice than you, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. How do you think my voice got this deep, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let me guess, a toothbrush? <laughs> well. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, uh, Wildest Night? No, we're not going to get that? You got anything for us? What was that? I'm sorry. Wildest Night. Wildest yeah. night? I mean... You said you're into anything, so yeah. I'm, like, wondering. <gasps> Looks like you hooked up with a refrigerator well, okay, okay, a couple okay. times. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you something. I'll give you something. 
The first time I went to Nashville, um, the first night we were there, uh, we had a threesome. So me and me and my girl. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> you and your girl had a threesome with a boy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, how it did, was a lot of fun. How, uh, did, how did that go? Tell us about uh, having a threesome. We went... <laughs> <laughs> We went to an open mic and, uh, you know, you know how comics are. And, uh, yeah, we met. Yes, uh, desperate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we went to an open mic and uh, we both saw like a dude that we thought was cute. And then we're like, oh, you should talk to him. You should talk to him. And I'm like, girl, let's just both fuck him and she's and then she's like okay and then yeah we did and it was fucking awesome honestly wow. okay his dick was humongous ah i thought you looked familiar like <laughs> uh surprise surprise he was a black guy so uh whoa I love it. Ah, wow. The last girl was wearing his shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. My goodness. You Can found... I say that I like yeah. that she went dark before with the material? Don't let people talk you out of that. Do what you want to do on stage, and if you want to be dark and crazy, do it. I, I like that you went to that. Yeah. Even, Thank they, you. they didn't like it, but I like, I like that you did it. And don't let an audience talk you out of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's like a night in Nashville, crazy and dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't shoot up any schools that time, but Whoa. there's always next year. <laughs> right. That was a different, that was a different shooter. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Tina, anything else crazy we should know about you before letting you go? Um... I mean, just, yeah, I like having fun. I like having a good time. Uh, I love Texas. It really is awesome. Austin is awesome. Yeah. Uh, the comedy here is amazing. Yeah. And, yeah, this is a great opportunity, so thank you. You got it. Tina Yukana, everybody. <laughs> Did you get a joke book last time you were on, Tina? Uh, yeah. You got a big one? Um, no, but people said in the comments I should have. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well. Well, they're probably going to say it again. <laughs> There goes Tina Yukana, everybody. You We're going to keep it moving along. We're having fun here tonight. We're flying through it, coming around that mountain. Another 60 seconds uninterrupted, coming at you from another bucket pole. Anything can happen. Make some noise for Tyler Gallant, everybody. Tyler Gallant. Here comes Tyler. How we doing? Yeah. yeah. You guys like that TikTok band? Yeah, I don't. I don't really care about TikTok. I think it's messing up the new generation. Got all these kids that are getting famous from doing these little dances. The ones I really don't like are getting famous from lip syncing. You seen that? Sometimes you'll see white people on there. They'll be lip syncing songs with the N word in it. I'm like that's not good. <laughs> all right? Is he about to ruin his life on my for you page? Is that what's happening? They don't. They don't mouth the N word though. They do the shush face. Whenever the N word comes on, they do the shush face. That's confusing, right? Because don't we just have a whole generation that associates the N-word with the shush? That's not good. You just got all these middle schoolers and high schoolers, they're just in school talking to each other. Like, do you guys ever notice the librarian's kind of a racist bitch? <laughs> Went to go check out a, a book, she called me the N-word like 42 times. <laughs> Asked her where the history section was. She went, please. <laughs> I'm Tyler Galan. Thank you, guys. Tyler Galan. Yeah. Hell yeah. A lot of setup there, but a big payoff in the end. I had no idea where you were going with that. You got me. Thank you. Absolutely. How long have yeah. you been doing stand-up? About two years now. Where at? Yeah. Uh, I came from Knoxville. I just moved here about six weeks ago. Tennessee? Yeah. Yeah. You ever go to the, some open mics in Nashville? I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. You ever pull out your black cock? <laughs> <laughs> not. Yeah. Not lately. Okay. Not lately. Yeah. I love it. Uh, Jim, what'd you think about? I this thought thing? the the misdirection of not knowing where you're gonna go is shush. I was like, wow, this is a great bomb, and yeah. you pulled it into a really really good joke, and you tagged it. Very very good. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Didn't Thank see you. where it was going, yeah. and it was. 
really, you set it up to look like it was about to tank, and you pulled it out beautifully. <laughs> nice it job. It really was. Very it was, good. It was a work of art. You yeah. disguised it so well. Uh, the only person that saw it coming was D Madness, actually, which is crazy. <laughs> uh, Tyler, what do you do for work? I do consulting. On what? Uh, IT stuff. It's not, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you do for fun? I do, uh, you know, I do comedy. Do a lot of Other comedy. Other than comedy. Hang out with my girlfriend. Uh, love How long have you been with her? About three years. What does she do? She does, uh, she works with bodies. Yeah. What does she do with bodies? Mm. She, uh, <laughs> she, she does, she's an anthropologist, forensic anthropologist. So she, like, helps identify people that did not make it across the border. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cooler oh. than what I do. So this is like a big booming business time for her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Millions of potential clients. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not yeah. going to slow down. Yeah. It's not. Right. <laughs> very, very busy. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she lives in Knoxville with you? She was, yeah. She, she, she moved out here uh, before I did. I moved in with her just about six weeks ago. Nice. San Marcos. Oh, okay. San yeah. Marcos. Lovely. You've yeah. been around? You get to see some of it yet? Yeah. yeah. Flo float down the river yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. nice. You yeah. love it. Yeah, I do. I do. I love Texas. It's it cool. is unbelievable here. Yeah. The river's fucking... I mean, it's just incredible. You know, yeah. we had a river in L.A. You remember the L.A. River? That mm -hmm. sewage pipe? Yeah. <laughs> Homeless bath. It was made of cement. Yeah. We, that's what we always thought rivers were. Yeah. <laughs> until we came here. Yeah. Um, incredible. Can I ask what kind of person she is, a forensic anthropologist? It's such a dark job. Like, yeah. does she have a, like, you know, cops have, like, that gallows humor. Does she have that gallows humor? She yeah, like, she's, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of dark, so she, yeah, she, she keeps up. She likes that shush joke, doesn't she? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah. She hates most of my material, but that one, yeah. That <laughs> so one's she's just smart. Kidding. Yeah. She, <laughs> <laughs> she's way smarter than me. She's much smarter than me, yeah. <laughs> Amazing, Tyler. Yeah. So fun. Uh, what do you uh, What do you do other than uh, stand up comedy? Like any special skills or talents or anything like that? Dude, I'm really good at ping pong. Really? I can't prove that right here, but oh, I'm wow. very good at ping pong. Ping pong and IT consulting. Are yes. you secretly Asian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. absolutely unbelievable. Yes. Sounds like it a girl true. I met in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think ping pong once tried to cancel me for a joke, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I, I remember that. I can't <laughs> remember his name exactly. Yeah. All yeah. right, Tyler. What scares you? What are you afraid of? Ah, uh, man. I don't like... Uh, there's cocaine sharks now. I don't like that. Cocaine sharks? Yeah. Are you talking about... Shh. <laughs> no. Uh, no. What do you mean, cocaine sharks? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, they can't swim. Why would they be sharks? That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. The, that one might be edited out. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. It yeah. won't be. They love it when I leave stuff in that I say is going to be edited yeah. out. Yeah. What do you mean cocaine sharks? People smuggling drugs into the country. If they're about to get caught and they're in the sea, they throw it out, and then apparently sharks have been eating it. So that's not cool. Yeah, that's Lucky. scary. So people... Wait. What? It's a real issue. Traffickers? It's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Thank Sharks you. are eating cocaine. They are. <laughs> it's scary. We got to do something about it. Yeah. All right? They're annoying to hang out with. Wasn't this the fucking, wasn't this a movie on FX at that some point? Cocaine no. Bear. No, that was Cocaine Bear. <laughs> That's a true story, too. I thought, yeah. 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 I thought this is how Sharknado started or something <laughs> like that. I'm getting them all confused right now. Yeah. yeah. So the sharks eat cocaine. Does that change their behavior? Do you know about this? I, no, I don't. I haven't run into one yet. I'm, I'm waiting. Right. They I'm swim waiting. a lot and their dicks get smaller. <laughs> yeah. 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 They can't stop talking. <laughs> uh, a lot of chewing. Those straws are being repurposed, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tyler, Red Band, what's uh, the longest set you've ever done? Uh, I've done 20. I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday. Thank you, you so there much. You yeah. Thank you so much. We're doing a real Thank spot you. six Thank weeks. You into his stay here in Texas, and he's already getting booked in the heart of Austin, Texas. There he goes. Oh, and here, take one of these two. It's a big one. Tyler Gallant. Boom. Yeah. All right, we're coming around the corner here. We're almost there. Mixed Moisture, your final bucket pull of the night. John Moore, everybody. John Moore, everyone.
Thank you. Hey guys, how's it going? Good crowd, all right. Uh, so I was in the army for a while. Uh, when I was overseas, I served with a Frenchman who stepped on an IED and lost all four of his limbs. I call him Napoleon Blown Apart. <laughs> it's, a, it's all right, you can laugh. It's a, he's got a good sense of humor about it. The only thing he doesn't like about this joke is being called French, because he's American. He's like, don't do that part of the joke anymore. <laughs> he's, uh, it's very offensive. Uh, he's very successful now. He tours the country. He's a motivational speaker, speaks to large crowds, probably has more stage time than me and the rest of these comics put together. But at least we're all put together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you guys know that when a small animal is about to die, it will try to wriggle out of my grasp? <laughs> Thank you, my name's John. John Moore. Welcome to the show, John. Thank this you, This is your Tony. first time here, correct? This is my second time here. Okay, how long ago were you on? Uh, about three years. Joe was uh, Joe was on the panel. Okay. Yeah, I bombed. Yeah. <laughs> this was better, huh? Much better. You've Thank been working you. hard at it. <laughs> yeah, I did the same joke, as a matter of fact. I just kind of revamped it. You made it better? It, I don't know. Did I make it better? No one, no one remembers from three years ago. I don't even remember. It was horrible. It could not have been worse, I'll tell you that. Was it the blown apart part? Uh, I didn't have any of the tags. Right. I tried to do one. I tried to do that. Neither did he. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I tried to do that joke, but yeah. none of the tags, none of the punch. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Good you guys, story. and you really do know a guy in the military who that happened to? True story, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's one of Gary Sinise's. He's like, we're Gary Sinise. They've got a whole camp up in... In Maine, I don't know. Do we have any quadruple Wait, amputees Gar in here? Gary, Gary Sinise runs a foundation where they take care of people yeah. that because he was Lieutenant Dan. I, may, I, I, may, I don't know if that's the connection, but yeah, he's involved with like Wounded Warrior. <laughs> like, I mean, what are the what are the odds of that? That's incredible. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if Tom Hanks does that. We had a guy up here a second ago that loves ping pong. <laughs> Be great if there was. Oh. We don't, we don't hear, you know. Uh, John, um, so what, uh, where did you go when you were in the Army? Afghanistan, 07-08. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you meet any women over there? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> what do you mean, not really? Well, like, you get your hair cut every once in a while, but that's about it. They have Afghani uh, hairstylists out there? What do they do, just uh, wrap, wrap a towel around your head? Yeah. Most of them from Kyrgyzstan. And they cut the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. What do they do? Just fly the scissors Fuck, into your hair like that? And, okay. Um, John, very interesting. What do you do for work now? Uh, I'm an analyst. What are you analyzing? Uh, I'm a data analyst uh, for DHL, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wore my work shirt. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John. What else what else are you into? What do you do for fun? Uh you know, comedy most I got a son. Okay, how so old's I'm a your dad. son? He's seven. Seven. Uh -huh. and, and you're the uh father? Like I mean like you stay Biologically, in, yes. But are yep. you in the kid's life? Oh yeah, yeah. I have him I have him fifty percent of the time. He was born premature. Uh huh. Um, oh, DHL with another fast delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, came early, but honey, the package I've been waiting for came early. <laughs> yeah, coincidentally, God. it's the same way he was conceived, actually, but I'm told there's no connection between those things. Right. Yep. You came prematurely, and the baby came prematurely. Yeah. Are I you friends with the ex? Do you get along with the ex? Uh, yeah. Well, hell yeah. yeah, holding on to that 50% right now, <laughs> holding on strong. We okay. We co-parent. Yeah? Yeah. So you live here? I live in Dallas. Okay. And the baby, the seven-year-old lives in Dallas? Oh, yeah. And the ex I took him Dallas. to Disneyland this week, actually, for spring break. Oh, wow. Oh. You, you told him someplace in Dallas was Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> the State Fair, right? Like, uh... Yeah. Okay. So you went to L.A., you went to Disneyland. We went to L.A. How did that go? It was great. Yeah? Magical. Have you been to Disneyland before? Yeah, when I was a kid. 
Okay. What did you notice is different about Disneyland? That well, I just noticed that it's very like artificial, right? Like it's uh, it's kind of like addiction. Like you know, you get like they call it magical, but it's really more like intoxicating, you know, mm-hmm. because you get like. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Turns out you ran out of time there. Unbelievable, John. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Don't blow the illusion of Disney. <clears throat> what, Jim? Don't blow the illusion of Disney. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to tell me? They're in costumes? <laughs> we, we saw Jack, uh, Jack Sparrow, you know? Ah. That's it. <laughs> Did his ex-wife shit on the bed? <laughs> <laughs> I did the last time I was here. But this, uh, there you go. All right, John. Well, congratulations. How old are you? Thanks. Uh, I'm 40. 40. And how long ago did you start stand-up? Four years. Four years. And how does it feel? Have you been getting a lot of spots in? You working in Dallas? I got some spots, yep. I'm doing some time at uh, Dallas Comedy Club. Hyenas is kind of hit or miss, but yeah, I'm you're happy. Spots. You're happy you're doing this. It excites you. Yeah, I love it. I came down here to get out of the routine, you know? Yeah. Mm. What's the worst set you've ever had in Dallas? How did that go down? Worst set I've ever had was was absolutely the one that I had here the first time. Oh, okay. Uh, worst well, you know what? We're gonna now. play that. We're gonna play yeah. that right now right on now? the right podcast. Now. Okay, here we go. Right now. But and here we go. What is up? I'm actually just looking for the bathroom. Could you guys point me? I really was gonna go to the bathroom, and I'm glad I did not. So I'm here uh, with some friends from Dallas. I'm uh, going to talk about my buddy that I was in the Army with. This guy is a legend. You guys may have heard of him. I'm not going to use his name, but he does a, he's got a foundation with Gary Sinise. He uh, has earned a lot of money. Great guy and hysterical guy. Only reason I bring him up, one of the funniest guys I've ever met, right? This guy, uh, when we were in service, huge, 6'7", 260, stepped on an IED and lost all four of his limbs. Yeah, I do not tell jokes about this guy for obvious fucking reasons. I had one serious question about his dick. Uh, he got his wife pregnant, so I, that question has been answered. Um, and, and, and truth be told, like I said, he's very funny. He, he's got a ton of stage time, more stage time than all of me and the other comics put together. But at least we're all put together. You know what I'm saying? Jesus fucking Christ, John. What the fuck? My God, you just came up and told a story about your funny or friend? Why didn't you let him sign up? We would have loved to have a fucking funny guy with no limbs up here while you're up here telling these sad stories. You're right, I'm sorry. How many of you think it should have been him that gotten blown up in the army, huh? Yeah. How about that, John? How about that? Oh, uh, yeah. I deserve that. <laughs> you knew you had one yeah. minute. I, I, I did not. I did not. Ex- yeah, that's true. And, then, and now we're back. So you guys got to see <laughs> how bad it was. But we're going to put your set in there just so that people know how terrible it was. Yeah, yeah it, was not, it, was gonna, it was worse than that, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. the Moving good on. news is, is we only have about a million more listeners than we had three years ago. Yeah. So <laughs> right, right, yeah. It's very exciting. Now hey, everyone's yeah, going to know. It. I'll take it. Wow. I love it. Well, John, um, congratulations. Thanks. Here's a little joke book. There he goes, John Moore, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. All right, we've come to that time, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one guy with the po- with the chops to be able to put a ribbon on this thing. You guys know him, you love him, the freak of nature himself, the Kill Tony Hall of Famer, the record holder for all time sets and interviews, absolutely killing it, headlining all over the country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, the Tijuana Tarantula, the Virginia Villager, the one and only William Lights Out Montgomery. Backstage, Tucker actually asked me if I could tell some jokes in Russian. Uh, (laughs) But seriously, Tucker, my family has always worshipped you. It's awesome that you came down from heaven to do Kill Tony. (laughs) Winona Judd is here. Winona Judd once performed during the Super Bowl halftime show. Meanwhile, Red Band was a ring girl for BattleBots. (laughs) Fucking pussy! (laughs) 
Biden recently had his State of the Union address and said better things about Ukraine than the United States, which actually makes sense because the United States doesn't have a video of Hunter Biden fucking a dog. I learned that one from you, Toku. <laughs> I'm gonna get in a time machine and meet the first alcoholic. At what point were they like, somebody take the keys to his horse? <laughs> <laughs> Last week, a Boeing whistleblower was found dead in his car prior to testify. Wait, did he work for Boeing or Hillary Clinton Airlines? <laughs> okay, that's my time, thank you. Amazing. My God, he's done it again. He's done it more than anyone else has ever done it, and yet it continues. The force of nature. Yeah, I'm never fucking stopping that. That's right. We want this to go on forever. It's a match made in heaven. William Montgomery and Kill Tony, what an unstoppable machine we are. Uh, absolutely, like you said, your family, the opposite of Cam Patterson's <laughs> grandmother. Uh, they love Tucker Carlson. <laughs> How does it feel to be here in front of Tucker, Joe, and Jim? It really is a treat. Tucker, I genuinely have to ask you, did that one guy suck Obama's dick? <laughs> did that actually happen? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I have the answer, and let me say I don't judge, yeah. but oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been wondering that, honestly. That's been something that I've been wondering he, he about. He told me off camera I actually did that. I was like, ugh. <laughs> but he did. He did. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Not, 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 ki was... not kidding at all. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. The question everyone wanted to ask Tucker, and it has been answered yeah. here on Kill Tony. The look on Joe Rogan's face says it all. <laughs> you should have brought him with you. It could have all got blown. <laughs> Wait, do what? I honestly didn't hear you. Oh, no, I was just talking about the guy. Oh, oh. Um, so, William. <laughs> No. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, William, what else has been going on this week? Oh, man. It has been a lot of the all brand buds. I got into a, a new video game called Contra, which has been a bunch of fun. It's been taking up a lot of my time, but I have been literally catching people, Tony. I, Tucker, I like to look out of my windows of the apartment where I live, and I find people doing wrong stuff out there. And Tony, literally, before I got here tonight, there's a homeless guy jumping the fucking uh, fence into the property of the apartments. And Tony, I'm not necessarily proud of this, but I went down there with a big, I recently got some big steel pans, and I swear to God, I went up to this fucking dude, Tony, and I hit him so hard in the fucking head. And he was literally literally just laying there and then it's I got to get here so I don't really know what happened. But... Wow. Yeah, Tucker, I have this really weird problem in Spokane. I got two of these homeless people there. They're just there's too many of them and I've been How, how many homeless have you killed? Great well, question. Well, I have been um, at least I would say around 17 different theoretically. Oh, that was a good one, right there. What was that? <laughs> What was that funny noise? I'm talking about murdering people, you dumbass. What was that? No, literally, Red Band, what was that? What does that stupid thing say that you're hitting? It was called Com Bonk. Yeah, Com Kapow. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. And then I'm going to um, going to Tacoma this weekend, Tony. We'll see how it goes. They're adding a third show on Saturday. Thank you to anybody who's ever bought a ticket to come see me. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, adding a third show Saturday. So we'll see how it goes, Tony. What else, William? What else is... You get very excited here. William, what else What else do you want to plug? What else is going on? It was just uh, Sweet Little Gator's birthday last week. Very exciting. We got her a little uh, ice cream cone dog treat, and she will not eat it, and she starts yapping at me when I get close to it, so now that's a big nightmare. So I've been playing a bunch of video games, so... Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> What 
<laughs> was that funny? When I'm kind of messing up, I mean, I'm having a pretty good setup here other than that one point. Did you really think that was pretty funny? Huh? I love it, bro, come on. What? I can hear you, dumbass! Holy <laughs> shit. Okay. William, we have some really good news for you. There's another red machine uh, here that wants to come back out. And uh, so why don't you stay up on stage? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Grammy Award winning artist, one of the greatest rock stars of all time. Make some noise for Winona Judd, everybody. The real Winona Judd, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these two beautiful red machines. Give her, that, give her the microphone, William. Oh shit, shots are coming out with Winona Judd. This is how you know you're dealing with a fucking country music artist. <laughs> what happened? What did I miss there? Oh, Fuck you're yeah. trying to get me to drink alcohol? You no, stupid no. bitch! <laughs> And maybe this would be a good time to show your titties, bitch. Whoa. I'm gonna hand I'm for the kidding. great Winona Judd, everybody. Coming out here, getting us liquored up, being part of the goddamn festivities. I can't drink. I can't drink. I have a bad cocaine problem. Woo! Oh, yeah. boy. That's a, that's a spicy treat. <laughs> Winona, why don't you grab a microphone? <laughs> Say hello to these people. Say hi to the, the listeners out here. Hey. <laughs> uh, you been having fun? Why no, no. Why no, no? You've been watching the show from up on the uh, balcony. Uh, what was the highlight of the show so far for you tonight? All the cussing. Oh, yeah. You I are... never could cuss, ever. My mother said no. Mm -hmm. So when I hear you cuss, I'm like, wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That is true. I cuss a lot, and we cuss a lot on and this show. And Liquid Death, $1.4 billion company, yeah. selling water. Yep. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Yeah. I love this. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Just yeah. let the free Joe, flow happen Joe, here. Joe, do you know who I am? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Let's talk. Call me. Oh shit. I love it. Why don't it chuck Bye, Winona. Winona. I mean unbelievable. I think I'm gonna do a podcast with Winona Judd. You definitely are. Fuck yeah, yeah. Active. Let me tell you, we were hanging out before the show. That is indeed one of the baddest bitches I've ever met in my fucking life. She is cool as fuck. Tony, I heard her just fall back there. No, she didn't. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Man, that bitch all oh, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> William, uh, stay up here for one more beat because we have one last special <laughs> treat here, believe it or not. We have, a, uh, we have a guy that did a fucking Kill Tony rap on the internet uh, a month or so ago. We found him. He said he's a super fan of the show. I said, why don't you come on out, and if you make it here, I'll put you on the list, and we'll have you perform this song live with one of the coolest Kill Tony raps I've ever heard in my life, 11 years doing this show. I'd like to present to you the stylings of Asthmatic, everybody. Here's Asthmatic. Sometimes we have rappers on this show. This guy actually Yo, does it. You guys hear me? All right, look. Yeah. Yeah. Check it. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, let me tell you about my favorite show. It comes on Monday night. I don't stay up late, so Tuesday morning brings delight. It's Kill Tony. Never seen it, then you owe me. It's an open mic where a minute feels awfully lonely. Yeah, Tony Hinchcliffe is him, the grim Slim Jim. Every show opens with this guy, Hans Kim. I'll admit it, he's a hit or miss. Never quick to dismiss. Sometimes lacks punchlines. Keeps a funny premise, bitch. Twitch like a Martin Phillips. I don't get it, he's a favorite. But William Montgomery is the illest. Never miss an episode, ain't never gonna stop. Consume it the way David Lucas drinks pop That's all day down the hallway So don't look If you bomb then you're gonna get a little joke book Use it Write jokes with the sharpened pencil Cam Patterson has the most potential He's elite As long as his minute don't repeat Go and buy a rock from the man off the streets Pull the pick of grimace out my pocket Casey Rocket Never made it as a wise man So I'll stop it A profit in the making Joe Dirt Go and dig it I wanna see it live but I can't 
can never get a ticket. What the fuck, Red Band? I don't understand. I've chucked screwball to see the best band in the land. Yeah. It's Hispanic, ladies and gentlemen. A Z M A T T I C. Follow him on Instagram, social media. Asthmatic. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tony. Make some noise for the goddamn goat, William Montgomery. Keep it going. Let's see. Let's see how loud this place can get for Jim Norton. Joe Rogan. Tucker motherfucking Carlson. And the best damn band in the land. Raul Vallejo, Carlos Sosa, Michael Gonzalez, Matt Muling. The Madness. Unbelievable drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is in. Let's see what Chris Rogers drew tonight. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> Wait. I know I'm the fucking donkey there, or whatever that is. Who's, who's that? Who's that guy? Who? Joe Biden. Wait, what? <laughs> well, who's the thing standing up? What? Richard Simmons? <laughs> Casey Rocket. <laughs> I don't recognize Casey without his ball cap on. I'm sorry, Chris. That's Joe Biden and Casey Rocket? Okay, all right. Why does Joe Biden look exactly like me? Am I the only one seeing that? All right. Great smile on Joe Biden. We did it. That's Chris Rogers' art, amazing local artist. Thank you to Game Time, Skylight Frame, Drab Kings, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Gel Blaster. Tucker Carlson, I gotta tell you, I've been a huge fan fucking forever. This is so surreal having you here. I, I didn't expect to be here, trust amazing, me. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Doing the Post Malone spot that you find out behind the curtain. And that's all because of the great Joe Rogan, my fucking best pal in the world. So much fun. How about a hand for him in the mothership, huh? Number one comedy club on planet Earth. Thank you so much, Jim Norton, for joining the show again. Red Band. Check out the Joe Rogan experience now on YouTube, guys. Check yeah, it out. For sure. He's back on YouTube. Very exciting stuff. Back everywhere. Uh, one more time for Asthmatic. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Good night, everybody. The Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas is now open. Check out Red Band's secret show every Thursday. Go to sunsetstripatx.com for tickets.